Now, while breast cancer is responsible for about a quarter of cancer cases in the country every year, survivors continue to struggle with high costs of affordable, comfortable prosthetics to wear. This was the dilemma which caused a prayer group in Nairobi to start knitting woolen artificial breasts for women who have undergone mastectomy. Wilkie Sanyabo with that report. The trickle of arrivals turns into a steady stream. Yes. And it's hugs and warm greetings all round as the women of Limau Cancer Connection reconnect after a month apart. Inside the little pink kiosk in Nairobi's Umoja 2 estate, old friendships are rekindled and the chatter continues as the work begins. Limau, which has 15 women and 5 men, began as a prayer circle in 2009. But when the group chair lady was diagnosed with breast cancer, everything changed. After she underwent a mastectomy, surgery to remove the breast, medics gave her a silicone prosthetic to wear. It was uncomfortable. She kept complaining that it was too heavy, it was sweaty. That's when her daughter Nancy Kithoido, who is based in the United States, stumbled upon the idea of knitted knockers, handmade prosthetics which survivors of breast cancer who have undergone mastectomies can wear comfortably. A group member was dispatched to train in Rwanda, and after she returned and taught the rest, work began in earnest. Now, almost nine months after Nancy's mother succumbed to breast cancer, the work continues. They carefully count the stitches. This dictate the sizes. Ukifikisha 35, yoni size D. Ukifikisha 30, hapa, size C. Ukifikisha 25, size B. Ukifikisha 20, size A. Kwa sababu hatutoshani. It takes about four hours to knit one knocker, which is then stuffed with fiber, giving it its shape so it looks and feels like the real thing. But it isn't just about the knitting. This is a safe space where men and women can talk freely about cancer. Tuna encourage ata kitu hiki kitu kama hiki kupata usiogope. And once in a while we'll, we'll get a, a nutritionist or we'll get a doctor to answer any questions that they have. The bonding is an important part of the meeting, especially for Alice Nyagudhi and Anyambura, both breast cancer survivors. The pair stumbled upon the group while searching for affordable prosthetics. This silicone prosthetic cost 20,000 shillings. The knitted knocker unreceived made all the difference. And now she volunteers her time, joining the rest in the Knockers Knitting Club. In Kenya, breast cancer contributes to almost a quarter of all cancer deaths. Breast cancer removal surgery in the country can cost up to 500,000 shillings in a private hospital, while breast reconstruction surgery costs upwards of 100,000 shillings. Due to its cost, breast reconstruction surgery is not common among most cancer survivors, leaving many with no option but to use prosthetics and a knitted pair costs 1,500 shillings. The yarn the knitters use is made of pure cotton. What is locally available is uh, acrylic, less than 95% acrylic. What normally happens, there are people who are um, allergic to acrylic. So when you give them that, it can either react to the skin or uh, when you wash it, it will shrink. Every so often, members of Limau Cancer Connection visit cancer support groups to donate the knockers. Kuna support group to be uko kijabe. Alikuwa mwalimu, uyo mama. Alinitolea cotton wool. Cotton wool kubwa, ameiweka hapa. Sasa vile nilimpea, aliniita na hapa wakaniabia kuja uone kine nilikuwa nimeweka. Alifanya hivi, akaitua wakaniabia washa ni pimei. Unaona, akaweka. At least, hata weu kifilu, uyo mutu at least umemweka another but they can't help everyone and their supply of yarn is quickly running out. Iroko ni 50 bob. Lakini hiyo inaenda kukaribia hiko 100% cotton ni 800 per piece. It is a steep price for members, most of whom double in small businesses. So in 2018, they plan to raise funds to visit 40 counties in 40 days, teaching other groups to knit the knockers while meeting the demand.
A ball of yarn may seem insignificant in the war against breast cancer, but breast cancer survivors who have accessed these knockers can attest that they are changing lives one stitch at a time. Wilkinson Abwa, Citizen TV in Nairobi.